Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add an image to your sidebar as a widget and how to add things like links and titles and a bit of a description and a caption to that image. So as you can see I'm logged into the WordPress administration area at the moment and um, I'm actually on the plugins page and the reason why I'm starting with the plugins page is because in order to actually do this function you will need to install a plugin first. So if you have a look halfway down my list of plugins you can see there's one called image widget. So you need to have that plugin installed, that's your first step for this tutorial and if you're not sure how to do that please go back and have a look at my other tutorial which goes through how to install a plugin. Okay, so moving on from here, assuming that you do have the image widget installed, the next step is to go to your uh, widgets settings area. So having a look at the left hand navigation bar, if you just go into the appearance section and then go down to widgets underneath that, we have the usual setup in the widgets area. So in the middle here, you can see all of the widgets that you have available to use and they're not being used at the moment. And then on the right hand side, you've got your primary navigation bar, or sorry, your primary sidebar, I should say. So that is literally where the widgets go for your sidebar. And then you've also got your footer areas here as well. So in this example, I've got footer one and two, and I could also add an image widget to that if I wanted to. Okay, so uh, first of all, I need to drag and drop the image widget onto the sidebar so that I can use it. So I'm just going to pick that up here and literally drag and drop into my sidebar at the top there. And then the first thing you will need to do once you've got that in your sidebar is to select an image from your media library. So if I click on the select an image button, I can select a picture. So let's just pretend, pretend this is a picture of myself. Um, as you can see, I've got some information in there already about myself, which you can add in if you want to, if you don't already have that. So I've just put my, my title, is my name, um, I've got a bit of a caption, some alternative text. Now, the, um, if you don't know, it's worth knowing that the alternative text shows up in screen readers and it helps to improve the usability of your website. So if you've got someone who has sight difficulties or hearing difficulties that comes to your website and they use a special kind of software like a screen reader in order to actually view and read your content, uh, you will need to use the alt text in order to help them um, with that special type of software. So the software will literally read tags like this back to them in order for them to know exactly what they're looking at. Um, so that's a very, very useful one to have. Okay, so once I have uh, filled in all that information, I'm going to click Insert, and that has imported all of that into my widget. So I now have the option to add a link in if I want to, so I'm going to type a link here to my website. And there's two options with the link, you can either ask it to stay in the same window, or open in a new window. So if you ask it to stay in the same window, you're literally saying, when someone clicks on this link, I don't want to divert them away from my website, I want to keep them on my website. Um, so I normally recommend that that's probably what you would want to do. Okay, size, um, we're using this image on the sidebar, so you need a small image. So I'd recommend you use something like a thumbnail. If not, maybe a medium size might be right. You might be able to squeeze it on depending on, on the constitution of the photo. But um, in this example, I'm just gonna choose thumbnail and I'm going to align it center and then just click save. So there we go, that is my image uh, widget all saved. So let's just go back to my website and take a look at how that looks. So there we go, that's my description that I put in there. So that's a description field, that's a title field that I had against the photograph. There's my photograph and if I click on it, that goes through to my website. So there you go, that's uh, using an image in the sidebar.